Have I said that already? Oh, I hope I have. Because you know what? It's cold. It's really cold. Oh boy, Christmas trees. Oh hey, yeah, that reminds me actually. So, last weekend my computer decided to pack up. And by pack up I mean I'd start it up and about a minute 30 into loading everything. If I tried to do anything on the damn machine, it would just stop. It wouldn't crash or anything, it would just hang. It would load nothing until nothing could be loaded. And then there was nothing to be done. So, ended up wiping the hard drives and starting all over again. That's what does. So, cut a long story short from there. I went to the dealership, made a video, came back, put all the information on the computer, put all the files, video, and yeah, that was when the computer just said that. So, no content last week. My bad, I'm sorry. But around, I think, the 15th or the 17th of November, the radio station we listened to at work, I'm not going to name any names, but you know who you are, you bastards, decided, hey, we're going to play Christmas songs. It's like, really? We'll we're not even in the month of Christmas, we've still got over a month, but, you know, for, for any, like, free, any build-up to Christmas as far as I'm concerned, if you want to start playing these fucking songs, okay, fine, so be it. And then they had two people call in, one was like, oh hey, let's get into the spirit of Christmas, and the other one was basically saying, no, it's too early. And I cannot agree more with the person saying it's too early, it is far too early. And there's adverts on TV, the radio, all this kind of crap. Even YouTube is like, oh hey, get into the Christmas spirit, it's Christmas. It's not, it's really not. I only stopped it just to let those guys pass, but I'm going to take a bit of a breather. And the vines are steaming up, oh no. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so the festivities are going to come along, they're going to go. And these people are going to be like, oh, hey, where's the spirit of Christmas gone? It's like, you ruined it. You bloody ruined it by starting a month too early. Yeah, I've got two pairs of socks on. One of them's thermal, quite thick, quite fluffy. But one of my boots has a small hole in the bottom. I only noticed this the other day as well. So... I get ready to go out for a ride and the inside sole of my boot is just trash so I take that crap out, put a new one in, switch a route and bang the feel is just absolutely walled up there. The feel is good man, it, it feels like a brand spanking new boot on the inside at least. But then I turned it over and there's a, a hole, a very tiny tiny hole, but it's there. <coughs> and. Um, I can feel a lot of cold air going up the bottom of my foot at the moment. It's not comfortable. <laughs> it's uh, oh nice, nice bit of scenery there. Um, it is not painful, not agonisingly painful. It's um, it tickles a little bit, and your toes start to complain a little bit when they sort of go a bit numb. Yeah man, I need to invest in some new gear. I was hoping like getting some um, some really badass looking leather jacket, the proper, you know, the Kevlar jeans, all that sort of stuff. I'm going for the jeans, don't get me wrong, but the leather jacket, there's a couple of which I found. And I like the idea of like a bomber jacket with a fluffy bit around the neck, but oh my God, they're, they're expensive. And I'm not talking like 203 pounds, you know, 300 pounds expensive you're talking 350 400 500 i've seen one that i absolutely adored and it was like 800 pounds i thought god damn that jacket is worth more than the thing i'm riding at the moment oh i mean it looks absolutely spanking it's got all the bits and bobs in it you could possibly want or need but oh, i'd hope that sort of thing comes with a free phone you know without the proper gear i'm just going to keep being cold I like the cold, don't get me wrong. I prefer to be in weather where it's easy enough to warm up. You know, you shake yourself around a little bit. Rather than being in a 
a hot climate where it's just impossible to cool down. So riding up and down the country lanes has been fun, even if it has been cold as hell. But uh, for now, it's back to straight lines and roundabouts for me. And on that note, nice bike, sir. That's a lot of smoke. Yeah, that's, uh, that's me done. I'll see you next time.